considered to be the richest country in the Asian region with regards to species concentration, Sri Lanka is a biodiversity hotspot, known around the world for its pristine beaches, incredible jungle and mountain ranges. It isn't hard to think that besides humans, there are also tons of wildlife species that call this island their home. Unfortunately, many of these species are facing issues and serious threats. One of these species is the purple-faced leaf monkey. In a previous video, I visited the Bailon Villa Atadia Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in Colombo. Each year, they receive over 3,000 animals, making them the largest wildlife rescue in Sri Lanka. During this visit, I learned about the purple-faced leaf monkey and the babies they were rehabilitating. The release for these babies was soon coming up, but due to bad weather, it was postponed. But today I am back because these babies are finally going back into the wild. Today is the day, guys. I am back at the Bailon Villa Atadia Wildlife Rehabilitation Center here in Colombo. The weather is sweet, which means today we are finally closing the cycle and releasing the purple faced leaf monkeys. We have to obviously wait for the perfect conditions to be able to release them back into the wild. And today, that day has arrived. So I get to show you guys these beautiful creatures going back to their natural environment. And I'm so excited for that. They're gonna be six individuals that are gonna be going with us, but we also have a civet and snakes and everything that are gonna be released today. But um, yeah, this is the first prep that's gonna be happening for the, uh, the baby monkeys. The team prepares these releases thoroughly and try to get the monkeys out of the rehab enclosure as quickly and calmly as possible. Once the monkeys are in the cage, they are ready to be loaded into the vehicle. So six of the eight juveniles that were in the bigger enclosure are going to be released tomorrow morning. The reason why the other two cannot be released is the one still has a spinal injury, so this one is not fit to go into the wild yet, and the other baby is just too small. So it's going to be these uh, six individuals that are going to be staying together because it's important to keep them together as a troop now that they have bonded together. And tomorrow they're going to be set free, which they don't know yet, but it's very exciting. So along with the monkeys, we have got a civet over here and it's in a small cage like this so that it can't actually get uh, damaged while moving around and there's a sheet over him because as you can see, the operations are happening over here. So to cause the animal less stress, you know, he hasn't got the distractions from outside. And then over here, we have some snakes and I know that in one of these tubes is also a cobra. They will also be released. So the plan is to first of all release the civet and the snakes today and then obviously the monkeys will be released in the morning when there is light again and can orientate themselves. So first we'll be going with the small critters and then tomorrow the actual monkey release will happen. Okay, for those who watched the previous video, this is the fruit bat that is allowed to go and do its own thing. But it stays here, <laughs> it comes back. To be very honest, if I knew that there were leftover pieces of fruit, I would also not be wandering off. I would also come and eat the leftover fruit. <laughs> but it's so cute. It is actually allowed to go and fly off, but uh, it just chooses to come back in the day. Okay, well, as you can see, we are ready for release. We've got the wildlife in the back. The others will be joining soon. We will not be uh, disclosing any of the release sites, and that is to keep the animals as well as future releases safe, guarded, because not everybody is as happy about wildlife being released near them as we are about actually releasing them. Now, the locations that are chosen are their natural environment. They are good forested areas, but of course, humans will always live in the area. So we will not be disclosing any of the release sites so that we can 100% guarantee their safety and the safety of future wildlife that needs to be released. Okay guys, so just to give you some information about the monkeys that we're gonna be releasing, they are purple-faced leaf monkeys, which is a species endemic to Sri Lanka. Also, they are on the list of the 25 most endangered primates of the world. And the reason why they're becoming more and more endangered is actually because of human activity and deforestation. So they are not able to roam uh, the certain regions that they would be, usually be able to roam because their forest 
is uh, being cut away. The individuals that we're going to be releasing, some of them have come in because their moms have been electrocuted or they have been bitten by other monkeys. So for example, in the hierarchy of monkeys, uh, the alpha male will sometimes bite um, younger males so that they don't actually become the leader of the troop. Another reason is you know, moms being killed by air rifles. So these are all the various reasons that um, actually cause these babies to come in and need to be rehabilitated. Now, luckily for these guys, they've made it through the whole rehabilitation process and tomorrow they are going to be released. to the location where we will be releasing the snakes now let's go set uh, set these guys free oh my gosh okay 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 that is a big guy well, guys that was actually really incredible it came out and it went straight down it was so ready to be in the forest okay I think we've got another cobra coming themselves uh, flared up okay so the next ones are baby cobras yeah we've gone from the uh, cobras to baby hump nose vipers. hump nose vipers now these are also extremely venomous but they are beautiful huh? Okay, the next species on our release yeah, list know. is the civet. This one is quite a, a feisty little uh, little guy. So yeah, we're gonna stay far out of reach. And he's gone. Yeah, it's actually really incredible to see these animals go straight out. You know, they're so ready to run into the wild. And this was also the case with the civet. It's uh, really cool to know that it's come back to its home. Behind me is actually release option number two. Now, the one thing that Pri has told me that we're going to have to keep an eye out for is that there are actually three other troops in the area. One in that direction, one over there, and one over there. So we don't want to just dump the juveniles with a whole lot of other monkeys in the area because that would be unsafe for them. So we're just going to have to see tomorrow morning what happens. And then hopefully we can have a smooth sailing release. The monkeys and the bird are going to be released tomorrow with the first daylight. And that is because they can then get adjusted to their new environment during daylight. So they have more time to get um, acquainted with their surroundings. But that also means that we're going to be spending a night here, which is pretty cool. So guys, I'll see you in the morning. Has arrived the morning has arrived today we're going to be releasing the little babies and I'm really excited to see how this process goes because so far you know having them in the cage they look so cute and fragile and today they're going to be going into the big big world
Behind me we have a little individual who's coming up to the actual cage and he seems the most curious out of all of them. He's actually been released before but because he was isolated and did not join a troop, uh, he was brought back to the rehabilitation center. So this is his second time round. He's going to be released for the second time but for the others this is their first time release. So I'm not quite sure if he has an indication of what is going on but the others definitely don't yet. But soon they're going to be free. It is about to happen. I think everybody's hearts are in their throats because the monkeys are going into the wild. <laughs> Wow, so the release happened so, so quickly, but they all jumped out. There was one younger individual that didn't go straight with the rest of them, and it was actually hanging around the tree, so we got a little worried. But the male that has been released before knows this area, and he has come back to hang around this uh, young juvenile. So we're gonna keep an eye on them and see if they actually leave. Otherwise, these guys will monitor their process and uh, see how this group develops. Okay, here we have the two pigeons that are going to be released as well. Oh, also very quick. Joanne, so how is it for you to do one of these releases? It must be amazing. The release is what makes our work worthwhile mm -hmm. uh, because they come into us, some of them are injured, uh, they're lost, and then when we see them uh, jumping into the trees and just running free, uh, that really gives us a lot of satisfaction. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, our work doesn't end there because we do have to monitor and make sure that they're doing all right in the wild. And if they're not, then we have to take necessary measures to make sure that uh, they will be okay mm -hmm. um, but yeah it is a very satisfying feeling to see them roam free sometimes there's mixed emotions because you also hope that they will be okay uh, but yeah it is it is very satisfying well, also very happy to be back in your natural environment buddy <laughs> this is a beautiful beautiful pigeon with that, this release has come to an end. And what Joanne actually told me is that after the release happens, they will usually spend a couple of days or weeks to just monitor the individuals that they have released to see if they've actually ventured off or joined a new troop. Now, obviously to get more accurate data and to see on the long term what happens to these individuals, they would have to use tracking devices. And these are usually very, very expensive. So hopefully this is something that they can invest in in the future so that they can actually see in the long term what happens to the monkeys that they are releasing. Now, this is where the cycle has ended for today but this is not where the job ends for these people because we have just been called out for another rescue so the cycle will start again for another animal i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing the process from rescue to rehabilitation to eventually actually releasing some individuals back into the natural environment if you did enjoy this video hit the like button it will help to spread it and if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button and i really hope to see you guys in the next video bye